Hey guys, so I constructed this wig on my sewing machine using five bundles of 30 inches from Beauty Forever as well as one 20 inch closure. And I love the fullness of this wig. As you can see, I just can't stop shaking my hair. To dye this hair, I will be using four boxed hair dyes. I'll be using two Berry Burgundy color 326s by Dark and Lovely as well as two boxes of Radiant Copper number 74 from Dark and Lovely as well. So the contents in each box will have a step one, step two, and a step three. The step one is your cream color gel. The step two is your 20 volume developer. And then the step three is your conditioner. Dark and Lovely is the hair color brand that I typically stick to when I want to lift hair to a lighter shade than its original hair color. It's not going to give me a very vibrant deposit of color because I'm not using any bleach, but 20 volume developer on its own does lift hair a couple of shades lighter than its natural hair color. And next I'm just gonna grab the 20 volume developer, take the top off, and then I'm gonna puncture the hole in this tube. After that, I'm just gonna take this tube and just pour the entire contents of that hair color inside of the cream developer. So typically I would mix powdered bleach with my developer, but because I am not bleaching the hair and it is gonna be a very subtle color, I'm just gonna take that cream color that came in tube number one and apply it here. And now I'm just gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And as I mentioned earlier, 20 volume developer on its own does lift hair, but now it is depositing a color as well. As you see here, these are the shaken up tubes. So basically I created a colored developer. I'm just going to empty these colored developers into the mixing bowl and I'm just going to mix them together before applying them to the closure first. making sure that I saturate that mixture on each strand of hair, the front and the back of each strand. I want to make sure that it's depositing the color as evenly as possible. So this is how the color came out now that I'm done washing and deep conditioning the hair. It is much brighter at the top where the closure is and then it gradually fades into a darker burgundy color. It is an ombre wig. It did come out or turn out to be an ombre wig because I did end up running out of hair dye towards the bottom. This hair is extremely long. So just keep that in mind if you are trying to dye a very long wig, you would need obviously more hair dye because you you just won't have enough to coat the entire wig. So I would definitely recommend about five to six boxes of hair dye, which can be expensive because this hair is really, really long. Um, but yeah, so mine pretty much came out ombre, and I do like the fact that it is bright at the top and then it fades into that darker color. It does give it more of a custom, funky color look. So when I was choosing the two hair colors, I had an auburn reddish brownish color in mind and it did definitely come out the color that I was looking for or hoping for. It came out like a, a cherry cola color, I would say. Like I would name this color cherry cola. That's what it reminds me of. But it is really pretty. It's a red brown auburn color and it's perfect for this fall, for this season. Um, I'm basically going to blow dry the full wig and then I'm going to flat iron it. Using a flat iron alone doesn't necessarily guarantee that your wig will lay down flat at the top, so I'm just gonna pull out my hot comb 
and I'm going to go through the top of this wig and make sure that the hair is laying down as flat as it can possibly get. Now I'm grabbing my Sebastian Shaper Spray and that basically gets rid of the flyaway hairs that I'll have at the top. I'm going to spray that onto the hair and then take my hot comb and go through the hair strands again just to make sure that those flyaways are laying down flat. And this is the final product. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information about this hair down below in the description box. And if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on the post notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys. And I'm not trying to anger the gods. I'm just trying to tear down your facade and get you closer. Never getting fired in this game. No, I'm a rosa. I never leave you stuck in the rain like Al Roker. Tell me how you got those love scars. Call me the Joker. Show you my hand and saw hearts like we playing poker. Uh, and I never get a flush. And when I meet a girl, I never cause a fuss. But it's something so different about your mind. And we have great conversations every single time. Now we see each other. Content with being your friend. But a lady to be your lover. When it's cold, I'll be your covenant. It's just so like a mother. Rise to the top with you, uh, and leave those other bitches under. And I wonder, could this be real love? Shit, it all depends how you feel, love.